Friends and family, faculty and staff, honored guests, and fellow graduates. My name is Michael Nock, and it is a great honor and privilege to be giving the farewell address as the valedictorian of the class of 2016. Class of 2016, we did it. We are finally here. The past four and five years have been an incredible journey. From our first day, walking through the double doors into the lounge of the Perry Health Science Campus, to now our last day of high school, sitting in the beautiful Maymandy Hall. We've each learned invaluable lessons along the way that have shaped who we are today. I'm sure all of us are filled with many emotions as we part with our high school years and look to the future. I am incredibly excited and truly grateful for having had the opportunity to spend four years of my life at such an amazing school with so many amazing people. Many of you probably do not know this, but my journey to WEX was initially improbable. I remember the spring of my eighth grade year when I received my admissions decision. I was placed on the waiting list, number 60 to be exact. To say the least, I was very disappointed. I had a burning desire to become a medical doctor even in middle school. And I knew this school would be pivotal in helping me achieve my dream. Maybe it was good fortune, but I think it was fate. Later that spring, I found out that a spot had become available, and here I am today. I'm sure all of us can agree on the rigor of WEX, the long days in class and lab, the endless nights of homework, the anxiety of upcoming tests, the stress of balancing academics with everything else in life, and might I mention, the leg cramps after walking what felt like a few miles on North Campus each day. <laughs> but this moment right here is what makes it worth it for all of us. And none of this would have been possible without the help and encouragement of our amazing teachers and support staff, the guidance from our parents and families, and the support we gave to one another every step of the way. Let's give a big round of applause to everyone who has helped make this moment a reality. I would be remiss if I did not thank three people here tonight. First, mom and dad. Thank you for all you've done for me. I know in many ways, this has been much more of a sacrifice for you than it has been for me. I will be forever indebted. Second, I'd like to thank Dr. Colbert. I remember at the end of Earth Science, of our first semester at WEX, you wrote notes to each of us on the back of the name cards we created on the first day of school. The message you wrote to me was, the sky is your limit. Thank you for believing in me from the very beginning and seeing something in me that I did not even see in myself. My message for this farewell address is simple. Two words, think big. If there's one lesson that I've learned as an entrepreneur, it is that if you do not dream big and work hard to fulfill your dreams, you'll end up fulfilling someone else's dreams. In the fast-paced society that we live in, it is so easy to get caught up in the hype and forget who you are. Always take a step back and a moment to reflect on what your passions are and what you would like to see in the world. 
No matter where you are in life, never settle. Continue to motivate yourself to accomplish amazing feats. Break the boundaries of what you think you can do. Never let others tell you the limits of your capabilities. Live every day fearlessly and with a ferocious desire to accomplish your goals. Take tasks step by step. Your potential is limitless if you just open up your mind and think big. Last year, as the Chief Junior Marshal, I finished my senior tribute with a quote from Dr. Seuss's book, Oh, the Places You Will Go. This me the message in this book that we all likely read in elementary school will hold true throughout our lives. I think it is only fitting that I finish my farewell address and high school career with that same quote. Congratulations. Today is your day. You're off to great places. You're off and away. You have brains in your head. You have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself in any direction you choose. You are on your own. And you know what you know. And you are the guy who will decide where to go. You'll get mixed up, of course, as you already know. You'll get mixed up with many strange birds as you go. So be sure when you step, step with care and great tact, and remember that life's a great balancing act. Just never forget to be dexterous and deft, and never mix up your right foot with your left. And will you succeed? Yes, you will indeed. 98 and 3 fourths percent guaranteed. I wish each of us the very best of luck on all of our future endeavors. Thank you. Michael Ray Nock. Michael plans to attend Harvard University, where he will major in neurobiology. His career goal is to become a neurologist. 